In Greek mythology, the god Icarus was, if I remember from grade 8, the god of traction. He started his career with a very old Range Rover, loved it, but it kept breaking down. So he solved that problem by buying a Land Rover Defender, much, much better, and that got a bit old and started breaking down too. And having spent so much time lying on his back, looking up at gearboxes and having grit falling in his eyes, he decided to go Land Cruiser. Loved, oh, lo had an affair with his Land Cruiser for over a thousand years. There's even rumor that he had a short flotation with a Pajero. It lasted 12 days, exactly. But today, Icarus drives this. Land Rover Defender Icarus, built by Alucad. And not unlike my own Toyota Land Cruiser 78, but which one's better? There is no doubt that the Land Rover Defender of perhaps any vehicle built by anybody is the most suited to having bits and things fitted to it. And of course, the 4x4 and Overland scene, that's what it's all about. I mean, so much of it is about beautiful toys, beautiful gadgets, and having fun in the bush or in remote places. Icarus is the name given to this Land Cruiser built by Alucab. It's actually a combined effort by Alucab and many of the uh, equipment suppliers and manufacturers that supply them. For example, Front Runner, Roof Rack, Gobi X, front bull bar and winch bar. The Icarus concept was to take a Land Rover Defender and turn it into the world's most desirable light two or four person overland truck. And it starts here. <clears throat> the concept of the built-in bed. Split tip-up roof and that's where I sleep. The point of a of a built-in rooftop tent is that I can move the bed out of the way and I have I can live in here if the weather's really lousy I can make a meal lie in here and read my kit is here my fridge my food is here it's livable this kind of rooftop tent has two significant advantages over the traditional separate tent I do not need a roof rack so therefore I don't need that extra weight Packing it away is incredibly simple. Erecting it, again, incredibly simple. When I say simple, I'm talking about less than 20 seconds. And its size, way beyond any rooftop tent on the market today. Alucab have taken the concept of ease of packing that they build into their canopies, they've taken it and they've put it in the back of a station wagon. This side, I have my kitchen. On the other side, I have my recovery kit and they fitted their own awning, 270 degrees, with a single supporting pole. There is also uh, an adaptation very similar to this, built to the 78 Land Cruiser Troopy by Toyota. Now, whether you prefer Toyota or the Land Rover, that's your personal choice. But this vehicle does have some advantages over the Troopy. The main one is that, of course, it has four doors. Now, even if you're not going to take out the back seats and you're going to do what they've done here and fill it full of stuff, you have access to it from the back door. You don't have that with the Troopy. That's, I see, its biggest advantage. The rooftop tent here also is a bit bigger. Not a lot bigger, but it's noticeable. It's definitely more spacious upstairs. So uh, here we have it, Icarus. <laughs> this is, um, I, I guess, uh, sort of having worked on all various vehicles, it was just inevitable that we would start to really climb in and get into, into a Land Rover. And uh, for years, I had lost to say and criticize about them, but uh, when we started to actually look at the concept and the design of it all, we realized that the space utilization in this vehicle is possibly one of the best there is. And for us, the beauty of it is we didn't have to cut anything to pieces, but we could rather just bolt it all off. 
So we took absolutely everything that we could find for off-roading and we put it on this car. <laughs> and so here you have it. Uh, a fully rigged, fully customized Land Rover for the bush. I think what I like about it the most is that people barely recognize the fact that we've converted the roof to be able to flip up. I think that's what's made it best for us because we really just have bolted, added a piece in and, and off it goes. So people look at it, think it's a normal Land Rover and then you pop the roof up and they're blown away that you can climb in and sleep in the roof. So What we actually decided to do here was I've always tried to make everything as practical as possible. It was the whole concept behind Alucab, is to keep it practical and sensible. And, and we decided to rather just kind of, the wheels are off, throw everything at it, and, and, and not necessarily focus so much on the practicality of it, but rather what looks good and what's gonna attract people. And funnily enough, I think this is what's caused great stir with this thing, is that we put on little added extras like push bars and nose cone boxes and, and branch deflectors that, aren't necess necessities as much as they rather are just they look good, they, they create a stir and they they made it look like the most macho car in town. So it is good for your ego when you drive it around, I've got to say. You get a lot of looks. <laughs> I had a, you get a lot of looks and a lot of people asking me if I'm lacking in other areas because I've got a car like this. <laughs> <laughs> So now, honestly, Land Rover Defender or 78 Troopy? Absolutely honestly. The four doors and the Defender, big advantage. A deal breaker, not even close. Because that's the only thing that I actually see is, is yes, the tent is a little bigger. Not much, little. The tent in the Troopy is big. It's big enough, bigger than any standard rooftop tent you're gonna buy on the marketplace. What else? Well, the Defender's engine, I feel, is a little small for the vehicle in general, but now with this, all, this, all this extra weight, it's, the, work, the engine works hard all of its life. So it's gonna have a lower life, a shorter life than it otherwise might do. Uh, as a driver's vehicle, Toyota's nicer. It's just, it's just nicer. Um, I personally like the space in the Toyota as a driver. A lot of people actually like the snug cockpit feel of a Defender. That's a personal choice, of course. Um, as a vehicle, practically speaking, as an overland truck, Troopy's better. It's, it's just a better platform. Apart from the reliability, let's take the reliability question mark out of the equation Totally. With a Land Rover, you're going to meet more people because Land Rovers attract, Land Rover owners attract themselves to each other. No question about it, you're going to meet more people on your overland excursions if you drive a Land Rover. And I've, I, people think that I hate Defenders. I don't hate Defenders at all. I love, I think they're fantastic vehicles. I think they're absolutely wonderful. They're bags and bags of character. I don't like the fact that they're not particularly reliable in my experience, as well as many others, I think, and the fact that you're driving a very old design, and you know it, when you're driving along and you f you're driving a very old, the rattles, the shakes, the handling, the, and if you like that, fantastic then, but I'm kind of, I got past that now, I want something a little bit better, but I also want the same uh, strength, toughness, uh, that the Land Rover Defender platform offers. And with the Land Cruiser 70 series, I get that in spades. So, that's my honest view.